on the face of it, everyone's going to look at this and go, yeah, yeah, like definitely I can, I can grow, I can change. So I'm a, you know, I'm a growth mindset, but let's just take a step back. Okay. Let's just, let's just take a step back and ask, ask a question. If I give you a question to do that you're not comfortable with, if I give you an exam, a surprise exam, a surprise test, whatever the case is, if I give you a question to do and you fail that question, if you genuinely, like in your heart of hearts, if you genuinely believe that you could learn, get smarter, get the stuff right, and that it's just going to require a little bit more work to get the stuff right, if that genuinely was how you, in your heart, instinctively felt about failing that question, would it cause so much stress to you to do questions and fail them? The answer for most of us is no. Because if you can find your little reaction buttons or put something in there, if I gave you a surprise question right now, okay, and I said, like, sucks to be you, I'm going to give you a little mini test. How many of you would panic? You can put your little thumbs up. How many of you would panic? Most of us would panic, right? Why? We're not prepared, not ready for this. I want to do well. What's she going to think of me? Okay. If you fail that question that I gave you, how many of you would be stressed out about it? Most of you would be stressed out, unhappy. Okay. Even though it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't mean anything, right? But we'd be unhappy about it. All of us would be unhappy about it. Like, we're not okay with that. Now, if we genuinely felt that, we can learn, we can change, we can grow, like do a little bit of work and I can pass this thing. Should it really impact us on such an emotional level? No. The reason, the reason that we are so terrified of failure, the reason that we are so stressed out when we study, the reason that our anxiety levels are so high that you are so intensely wound is because there is a desperate fear that you are not smart enough and there's nothing you can do about it. You are so terrified that this is it. If I can't do it now, I'm never going to be able to do it. Okay, so we may not articulate that. You know, we don't consciously we, if we do a question, we fail. We don't consciously think, yeah, you know, we don't consciously think all these things, but it doesn't make sense. Our level of intensity and our the way that we avoid questions, because let's be honest, we avoid questions, we procrastinate doing questions. We want to make sure that we feel ready for questions. You know, we won't do questions until we like, I know that I know the answer to that. So we kind of, you know, we avoid them. Why do we do that? Because we're really worried that that's it that's all i'm ever going to be able to do okay so yeah i'm i'm a fixed mindset i absolutely struggle with with this although i know logically i know that to be true i know that i should be able to learn stuff in that moment when something happens that i get something wrong i don't feel the growth i feel the fixed 